Welcome to this GE Healthcare educational series on electromyography-based neuromuscular transmission monitoring. In this first video, we will be covering basics about the EMG technology. This measurement is part of the GE Healthcare adequacy of anesthesia concept. It relates to the suppression of neuromuscular transmission for immobility as part of balanced anesthesia and supports clinicians in titrating neuromuscular blocking agents and reversal agents. Please always remember to refer to the user manual that accompanies the monitor for more information on the GE Healthcare EMG solution. Let's get started. Measurement with GE Healthcare electrosensor is based on evoked electromyography, which is the process of recording the electrical muscular fiber activity in response to the nerve stimulation. EMG captures the electric signal caused by the depolarization of the muscular membrane the location just next to the neuromuscular junction, which is the site of action for the neuromuscular blocking agents. All other technologies, such as acceleromyography and kinemiography, amongst others, measure the response caused by the muscle activity, being therefore indirect measurements for the actual drug effect and more prone to inaccuracy, interference, and noise. Adequate recovery from neuromuscular block indicated by a TOF ratio higher than 90%, can be reliably determined only with quantitative monitoring. EMG TOF ratio is the gold standard for detecting neuromuscular block in clinical setting and is not interchangeable with, for example, AMG TOF that may overestimate the recovery by at least 15%. Therefore, residual neuromuscular block, defined as an EMG TOF ratio of less than 90%, cannot be excluded immediately on reaching an AMG TOF ratio of 90% or even 100%. Studies have shown that the implementation of quantitative EMG neuromuscular transmission monitoring resulted in a significant reduction of PACU patients that were incompletely recovered from neuromuscular blockade. Furthermore, the EMG technology is not affected by changes in muscle contractility and therefore, there was no need to immobilize the muscle to be studied. There was also no need for preload. As a result, mobilization of the thumb is not necessary for EMG monitoring, for example, when the patient's arms are tucked on the sides. Finally, electromyography is less dependent on intraoperative normothermia than other mechanical technologies. We'll now be covering the benefits of EMG. EMG captures the earliest clean signal available directly at the neuromuscular junction. EMG is considered a gold standard for measuring neuromuscular function due to its high correlation with mechanomyography. It is one of the only suitable methods to identify low but clinically meaningful levels of residual neuromuscular block. It is also one of the only suitable methods to guide optimal dose and timing of reversal agents. EMG devices offer advantages over other categories of monitoring devices. Thank you for watching this video series on EMG-based NMT monitoring. In the next video, we will talk about the EMG setup as well as its optimal electrode placement and sensor cleaning.